Officials monitoring both beaches from the skies and on land. Let's send things over to Richard Jacobus, who joins us live from Rockaway Beach with the latest on what we know today. Richard. Steve, Natasha, both Rockaway Beach and Jones Beach still remain closed for the rest of the evening and potentially into tomorrow after another shark was spotted off of Breezy Point, just a few miles from where we are standing here on Beach 59th Street in the Rockaways. Meanwhile, that 65-year-old woman who sustained a shark bite last night is still in serious condition as they still continue to search these waters for any more sharks. High in the air with drones and choppers to down on the sand with lifeguards keeping watch. The NYPD, FDNY, and Parks Department officials keeping close watch for most of the day, canvassing miles of ocean water, looking for sharks. They're always out there, but not usually these sharks. This one must have been a bull shark. Officials aren't sure what kind of shark it was. The fears, though, sparked last night when a 65-year-old woman was swimming about 10 feet or so into the water just before 6 p.m. The woman reportedly felt a sharp pain in her left leg. It caused her to fall backwards in the water. Police say when first responders came to the scene, the woman was unconscious, either from blood loss or shock, suffering from that apparent shark bite. Jose Diaz was a lifeguard supervisor on duty last night. We called a case whistle. Everybody started running to her, and we helped her out right away. We took her out of the water, and we applied pressure to her. So uh, we saved her life. Although it's not common, experts tell us it's not unheard of to see a shark swim that close to shore or to bite someone thinking they have found food. What's happening now off the beaches of New York are these big schools of prey fish uh, that the sharks are feeding on, schools of fish called menhaden, locally known as bunker. And uh, these are very oily fish. It's a great food for sharks. Amid ongoing surveillance from the shore, officials will continue to determine how long both Rockaway Beaches and Jones Beach will remain closed. For now, those on the sand today say they aren't going anywhere near the water anytime soon. Because I went in the water in the beginning of the summer. Now, it's the middle of the summer. Just forget about it, you know. <laughs> Yeah. I think I'll take a break from that. There's a little more fear now. Yeah, yeah. If I'm bleeding or, you know, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a little different. It will be a little different for a while. Over the last month, there were three shark attacks in just two days, with five be people being bitten in total in the month of July out on Long Island. The Parks Department tells us in a statement that shark spottings here are very rare, but that park officials remain vigilant in monitoring the beach and clearing the water whenever they spot a shark. Swimmers should still stay vigilant, though. We are live in the Rockaways tonight. Richard Jacobus, Fox 5 News. Steve Indeed. All right. Thanks, Richard. Well